Here's a quick Peloton Bike Plus auto follow demonstration with four examples and one weird quirk we ran into using the new touchscreen. We selected a climb style ride because it has a lot of resistance changes to show you examples. So you start the ride and within a few seconds the auto follow feature pops up and you just tap on the lock button to turn on auto follow digital resistance on the Peloton Bike Plus. By default, your bike is placed in the center of the resistance range. And there's an interval timer circling the lock icon so you can see how long until the auto follow resistance changes. In this very first example, I won't change the resistance at all. As you can see, the called out range is 25 to 40, and my bike is automatically set in the middle by default, which in this case is 33. When the countdown timer ends, the next resistance level is announced to be 30 to 40, and the auto follow makes my bike jump to the center of that range, which in this example is 35. That's pretty simple, but now, what happens if you want to move up in the range to make it more difficult than the default center of the road resistance? From the look of the slider bar, I thought you'd be able to slide the resistance left and right within the target metric range, but during this demo ride, that's not how it worked. The slider bar does appear to sometimes respond to touch though, and I'll show you my observation on that in just a moment. Since the touchscreen auto resistance slider didn't respond to me sliding my finger on it, I simply used the red resistance knob to adjust the resistance. And I went just past 40 by accident, but I turned it back to 40, which is the top of the range in this example. You can see that if you do leave the suggested range, it won't automatically turn off auto follow on the Peloton Bike Plus. As you can see, the interval is just about over and we're at the top of the range now. The next interval range is 31 to 43, so the bike is automatically set to the top of the new range at 43. And it works the same way if you're on the low end of the range too. Let me show you. So when I tap the slider area on the screen this time, and my bike's resistance is not in the center of the range, it appears to have reset the auto follow resistance to the center of the slider rather than allowing me to drag it to a specific point in the range. So I just manually turn the red resistance knob to bring the resistance down to the low end of the auto follow digital resistance range. In this case, I did not bring the resistance completely to the bottom of the range. Rather, I brought it to just one point away from the bottom. In this specific case, the range is 31 to 43, so I put the resistance to 32 to show a slightly different example. As the interval changes to the next range, which happens to be 40 to 50 in this case, the auto follow feature on the Peloton Bike Plus sets the resistance to 41. So intuitively, you're automatically set to one point up from the minimum suggested resistance. Now, let's say you want to ride extra hard and go completely outside the suggested auto follow range. In this case, the suggested resistance is 40 to 50, but I use the red resistance knob to turn it up to 57. As the interval ends, the new resistance interval is called out to be 45 to 55. So auto follow puts you at the top of the range, not a few points outside and above the top of the range as you might expect. The auto follow feature on the Peloton Bike Plus may be updated in the future to work a bit differently and allow you to auto follow outside the suggested range but for now, this is how the feature works. How do you feel about this? Leave a comment in the comment section below. On the opposite end of the spectrum, let's say you want to take it easy for an interval and turn the resistance down well below the suggested range, which the range in this case is 45 to 60, and I set it all the way down to 26. The new called out range is 45 to 55 and the auto follow automatically pulls my bike up to the bottom of the new range, which is 45 in this case. Again, it doesn't set your new resistance to be like 20 points below the suggested auto follow range as you might expect. So you would need to tap on the auto follow lock icon to turn off auto follow if you want to ride outside of the suggested ranges. Because if you don't, every time the auto follow is updated, it will pull you back into the suggested range. 
And at the time of this recording, autofollow does not work for live rides, and the feature is being added to rides shortly after they're added to the Peloton database. From the look of it, you might expect to be able to use your finger to slide the auto resistance up or down within the target metrics called for, but from all that I could see, the only thing it would do is reset the resistance to the center of the target metrics by touching the slider bar area. If anyone has any additional information on this, please share it with us in the comment section below. It could have potentially been a bug with this particular ride, or maybe my finger just doesn't work. Who knows? If you have any other questions about the new Peloton Bike Plus, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Anyway, hope this helps. Please click like and see you next time.